here, and we're back in the Elsewhere realm, uh, playing a little multiplayer Minecraft, although I don't think anybody, yeah, nobody else is on. Uh, a lot of the other guys are in school and, of course, also have jobs, um, so they aren't able to be on quite as much, and I've had a extremely busy schedule recently and have not been able to record for the past week or two, actually, the past couple weeks. Uh, so I want to hop on at least get a little bit more done on our next little project. Um, I still am collecting resources to build the giant crimson mushroom that's going to be our uh, above ground base, but I did a little bit of work off camera. Um, I don't remember how much of this was done or if y'all saw it in the last episode. I done like the little, um, whatever you call this, the part where you put the stuff into the box and then I did like the first row of chests, uh, then I had to move the second row of chest out. So we're actually going to have to expand quite a bit this way, at least another like three blocks, because um, I forgot that where I had those hoppers that feed into the, the row of, rows of chests to make it taller, those ended up uh, getting locked by the um, redstone torches that are behind there. So now there's an air gap of one block, which means they will not activate or won't get locked. Um, so yeah, anyway, I figure we'll continue working on that today uh, and see if we can get at least this side of it finished up. Um, we might do a few cuts in the middle of it just because, you know, it is kind of tedious just placing blocks, of course. But yeah, so let's go. Helps if I hit the right button. I hit the button to stop recording. Okay. So, uh, first thing we're going to need is a lot, I mean a lot, of redstone torches. Although first I need to, hold on, I need to put my armor back on. That way it's not taking up space in my inventory. Okay, so we're going to need redstone, that's more than enough. And uh, we're going to need redstone torches. Okay, this should be enough for the initial little bit. All right, so basically under the hoppers here that feed into the first chest, we need redstone torches. So uh, you need one for each one. Let's see how quickly I can do this. I think we need it exactly 45, so this should work out perfectly. There we go. Uh, and then of course we're gonna do one chest here that just catches all the random junk eventually. Uh, but we're just gonna do a little bit of testing. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, coming back, we actually need to put a block here. Is it here? I think it's here. I may have to go look at my video. Ah, shoot. I'll have to clean that up. In a second. Okay, there we go. Okay. I want to say that's it. Give me one second to look at my... Alright, we need one more, so let's come along here. Oh, 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 apparently I ran out of normal stone. Alright, a little bit more, and I missed one there. Alright, ah, shoot, I didn't use my silk touch one. Alright. And now we have to get up there. <laughs> Alright, well, we can place the cobblestone here. Alright. Ah, shoot. Nope. You know what? I need comparators. That's right. Comparators to put up top there. And then we're also going to need a repeaters as well. Uh, 45 of each. Okay, so we need quartz. We need stone. Oh, and we need a lot more redstone torches. Yep. Okay, so let me check real quick just to make sure we make enough of these. How many do we need? We need two redstone torches per that, so that's 90. Wow. I may not have enough redstone. We have to go purchase redstone. So 90. Yeah. I'm trying to think. 90. Plus another, is he 90 and another 45, so it's 180 plus 45 would be 225 redstone. Is that literally all the redstone I have? 
Let's see. I can't even think of what that. Eh, we'll just have to try it. But we are going to need a ton of sticks. That should be more than 225, I would think. Okay, so now we need redstone torches. There's 64. Another 64. We'll see how many that of the... That should give us quite a bit for the repeaters, at least. Oh. It gives us enough for 40. So we'll need five more. Oh, it's because we're low on stone. We should have quite a bit more stone because we hollowed this all out. Okay, so we need five more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then put that in there. This will allow us to just grab five more. Okay, there's 45. And let's see, we need it. How many is that going to be? That's enough for 12. Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get those in place. All right. And then there's 12. All right. So we have 12. We need 33 more, right? 33? Okay, so we need... One, so minus one, okay. Um, 32 times three would be 96 more torches, 97 more torches. That's a lot of torches, okay. 97 more torches. So there's 64. So we need 33. Three. So there we go. And that should be the torches. We're not going to have enough redstone. Unless I have more somewhere hidden. Oh, actually, I think I have some that we could break down. Okay, um, what do I need? I need more normal stone. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we'll put these in here. So that's 21. Thirty-three. And you know what? We'll just put all these in here like so. Forty-five. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we'll drop the rest of that in there. Rest of the stone in here for now. Actually we're gonna need the stone. We don't need string. Don't need dirt. Don't need stairs. And I don't think I need the iron. I went and bought a bunch of iron uh, just because it was cheap. Okay, we're going to need a lot more redstone though. So, yep, there it was. And actually, I think there was more than one. There's more of it. Okay. Yep. See, I was using a silk touch pick whenever I did this. So. Let's get our fortune pick out and get all this redstone. Okay, and here we go. Oh, this thing goes fast, I thought. I'm used to my silk touch. It's much faster. It's got like efficiency five now. And it's netherite. Now we got at least a stack. Problem is we need, I think it's two per Thing. So we need like nine. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Now, let's come up here and see if I can make that. Nope, I cannot make that jump. What if I can do, can I do it from here? Yes, we can. Although, there's going to be a slight problem because I don't think I can place these. Uh, oh, actually, they were already there. Okay, so comparator. Um, oh, I can. I just have to be at the, just the right angle. Nope. See, that's going to be the problem. Let's go 
It'll be a slow process. Let's see if I could do it faster. Nope. Trying to get it to where no. Nope, we definitely have to go slow. That's annoying. Just because you get to place it from the direction you want it to be facing. So that's kind of annoying. Eighteen more to go. Yeah, if I'd cleared out one more block above my head, we'd be able to jump place each of these. It'd be a whole lot easier than trying to sneak. So, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right, and then here is where we need the repeaters. Oh. Torch. Oh, shoot. Did I get any more? Are they all lined up? No, uh, yep, there's another one. No! Come back here. I did it again. Okay. I think the rest of those are all lined up, right? Yes. Okay. Let's try this again. I saw that. Okay. Are we all lined up? Nope. You need to go back. Actually, yeah, I don't think it matters. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, oh there's one more. Alright, and then we need lots of stone. Lots of stone, because I'm using that as our building block. Alright, so then above these, we're doing this. It's just as simple, because all we have to do is just walk sideways in a straight line. Because there's not enough room for it to place multiple blocks behind, uh, deep. Alright, and then we're going to take these torches out here and here. But we're going to place these here, like... Aha! And we need more. All right. And then finally, we need a redstone. All right, let's see how this works. Oh, it does work perfectly, okay. So basically we just put redstone here And then here. And I feel like I need torches in several places along this back wall. So I feel like we're going to get spawns if we don't. Actually, do you, if you have redstone, does that prevent them from spawning? Do y'all know? Okay, we're about to... Yep. And see, basically what this is going to do is it's going to lock... Oh, oh, nope. Not torches. Redstone. This will lock down the hoppers to prevent them from um, from more stuff going through. And I believe we put it in the top. I think it's in this hopper here is where we have to put the stuff. And the way it works is we need 22 so, three, four, and that should not flow out. Yep, perfect. Okay, so then we want to do, uh, we can do dark oak. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, and the other thing you could do if you didn't want to use all of it would be you could do, um, I think it's one of something else, or mostly of something else, and then that you're not going to use ever. And then the one item you want, so say for 
redstone example if I didn't want uh, except I've already used okay well we can use sticks for example okay so if I want the redstone to be the one thing that doesn't flow through I get 21 of the other things ah shoot I did that wrong okay, so it's 12 15 21 okay it should allow the redstone through but not the sticks well the sticks would gum it up if we actually tried to use sticks so um yeah so let, let's test this i think okay yeah we've got stuff okay so that should be the basic system so all we have to do is drop in it'd be better if this was a um whatever you call it trap chest so stuff wouldn't automatically start flowing out um so yeah hopefully if this works right in the third chest there should be redstone once it filters through everything and sorry about that my dog is coughing Going to here. Uh, did I do this wrong? I did this wrong, didn't I? That is not triggering, is it? Oh no, it's triggering. There it goes. That did not work right. That did not work right. Do I need to put in the one below that? I must have to put it in the one below it. Yeah, I gotta put it in the one below it. Okay. Hold on. Sorry about that. It's been a while since I've built this. So if we go one, and then 21 here, and then grab the dark oak out. Uh, see half yeah there's something programmed in to where 22 of something makes it to where it won't mess it up okay um, except that does not trigger the comparator although maybe I don't need to trigger the comparator oh wait what was this that's that nope that's not gonna work because I'm gonna have to go look at my thing again because I am pretty sure I screwed this up somehow did I not do it in the right order because that they're just it's gonna pull everything into that one right so if I throw this in I need to throw something else in too. I'll right, we'll throw in the 18. I think it's going to pull everything into that first hopper. Yeah, see it pulls everything into the first hopper. So it's got to be this. So it's definitely got to be this one. And you have to make sure to have something in all five slots for this to work. Uh, what was I doing? Yes, this. See, this is, it's always a lot of trial and error for me because I don't do this stuff often enough for me to remember. I always had to play with it a little bit. Give me a second to go look at my video again because I apparently messed this up somehow. All right, so I figured out what it was. Um, we need the redstone torch on the block that the um, repeater is going into because that's what turns the whole system on and off. So we are just going to put these in place real quick. Okay, perfect. And I think I want to put some normal torches down through here because I'm not going to fill these back in because you're not going to be able to see these. 
And actually, I'm going to need an access tile to dig down for the more rare resources. All right, that should be good. All right, so now <laughs> the system should work. Uh, I would swear there's always something. Okay, oh wait, did I? I did put all this stuff back, didn't I? No, I did not. Of course I didn't. Why would I put this stuff back? I could have sworn I just... Okay. Um, stone. So we need 22. So there we go. And then just for... Testing purposes, and then for this last one, we're going to, where are all my sticks? Did it, did it flow out into the chest then, maybe? Yep, it did. Okay, I need that, need that, oh, because I unlocked the system. Yep. When I took those torches out, it unlocked the system. All right, and then, okay, so just for the... Checking. Okay, I think I wanna, I think I wanna do two of that. Yeah, okay, so that should work. So here we go, one more time. We're going to throw in redstone, some wood, and some stone. All right, so does this work? We should be getting redstone, yes, and then wood once the redstone. I, I put way too much redstone in them. Yep, way too much redstone. But yeah, so basically we just have to gather our resources up from inside our thing and then uh, fill in the hoppers in the back with the amount that we need. I'm probably, I literally think I'm going to use sticks as my extra sorting item just because we have tons of wood and I'm not gonna throw sticks into that. I would just have a thing at the, you know, a box for sticks. Cause you really don't craft, you usually craft exactly what you need. And there's our stone, there's our wood, there's our redstone. Did it catch up in one of these? Because sometimes, I think there's always one of something that gets stuck in one of these droppers. Check, dropper, no, dropper, no. Yeah, it's that one. There's always wh whatever the, the final block is gets stuck in that. So always make sure to throw in at the end one extra item uh, that I don't care about. Let's see, we got the 18 there, got that there. And see, yeah, uh, same thing happened here. One of them got stuck in the system. That is the one downside of this older system is that the stuff can get stuck, you know, one extra. Um, so you do have to know, like on the rare resources, you've got a couple extra, or you got one extra in the system behind it. And then there's that one that's directly behind this chest right here that will have something in it. But that's the basic setup of this. I'm gonna go through and arrange everything. And uh, eventually I will come in and put um, item frames on the front of these once I get more leather. Um, uh, because you basically you're not gonna touch these. Typically everything's gonna flow, everything will flow from this chest down into the other chest as long as you have enough available. So, yep, but that's pretty much my system. Um, hopefully next week we will be back to uh, building the big crimson uh, mushroom for our upper base. Just because I I don't have enough resources, it takes a whole lot more than I realized. So <laughs> it's going to take a good several hours of gathering the crimson. Because I was hoping uh, DAC, I think it was DAC, or was it Surface? One of the two was going to start doing... Uh, crimson and warped mushroom uh, sails, like the stems and the whatever the the pieces that go the whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about the the actual bell of it. They're gonna start selling those, but they haven't got that into the shop yet. So I will have to uh, purchase or not purchase. I have to farm it myself. 
Um, they do have the auto farm going, but it is um, not currently turned on, so they're not collecting the resources. But anyway, and then we'll dress this up. We'll hide this bit here, because um, I'll probably just do a uh, my standard little piston door that hides this out of the way. Um, although it's going to be hard with this being here. We'll figure something out. But anyway, and then we'll fill in more chests, because we have tons of stone and tons of wood and stuff like that. But... Anyway, this is Meriden Gaming. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't checked me out on Twitch yet, I do live streams now. We're doing uh, Forza 4 Horizon, which is uh, one of my favorite racing games. And then we're also doing uh, MC Eternal Mod Pack for Minecraft. If there's another mod pack you'd like to see, I can always uh, start doing one of those. Uh, it was just MC Eternal. I like doing the adventure ones with the quest book, and it had the highest number of quests that I could find. It had like 750. So check that out. Um, and of course, those uploads go straight to YouTube as well if you want to watch me on YouTube streaming. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is Meriden Gaming, and I'll see you in the sorting room. <laughs>